team, Pineapple team, Pineapple, yes, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome to Pineapple TV, Pineapple TV, yes, 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 this is the quick, quick win to the win, 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 to the right, and it's another live, and it's another live, and it's only one a day for right now, because I am creating, we are creating, and it's taking up a majority of the space up here, so, we will be back to doing, or I will be doing plenty of lives here in the next upcoming days, but today, tonight, the question is, what were the good things that you did today? Mm. What were the good things that you did today? And normally, when I think of it, that's not actually a question that people actually ask anybody, really, because it's always mm. talking about, uh, you know, yourself. People are always talking about themselves or other, they're always dumping negativity. But what I want to know is, what were the good things that you actually did today? And all of us, it seems like we do do good things daily. We just don't celebrate it. Mm. We just don't recognize it. And that's why I want to ask. I want to ask and I want to know what were the good things that you did today? And I want you to be able to talk about it. I want you to be able to highlight it. I want you to be able to, ex to celebrate, express it, and share it. Because it is vital and is very, very important to build ourselves, to build our self-esteem, to build to be able to feel proud about ourselves by being able to share it, being able to discuss it, being able to feel great about it. So that's why I'm asking, what were the good things that you did today? So I'm going to throw it over here to the Quick Quick Quinn hmm. and take it off. All right. So let's see. I did some great things for myself. I stretched today. There it goes. There it goes. I How long did you stretch for? a little bit. Oh, uh, I want to say maybe average 20, 15 minutes. See, that's bad. 15, that's not bad. That's really 15, good. 15, 20 minutes. Really uh, oh, I did push ups today. I did 20 push ups today. There it goes. Yes. There it goes. I did 10 before the jog and the 10 after the jog. And then there was that jog that I went with my parents. So I felt like that was quality time for sure. There it goes. Eating dinner with them. And then I went on a jog. They want to uh, walk. And uh, played some piano. Made myself some food today. Right. <laughs> Did some videos today. And you might be thinking to yourself, this doesn't sound like good things. Mm. But see, the the whole premise of this, I wanna I wanna I'll follow it up with, how do you know if you did something good today? Oh, feel good about yourself. There it goes. Yeah. And in short. Feeling proud about yourself. Yes. See? Very proud. A lot of us, we go through the days and we feel underappreciated. But if you can make yourself feel proud, that's how you know you did something good today. It doesn't always have to be for other people. Mm -hmm. You see? You always hear the saying, do it, you know, start with yourself. Start with yourself. Start with yourself. Because when you do start with yourself, then you can actually feel great about yourself. And then you can be shared. Yeah. You can be able to share those good vibes that you have. So, that's how you know if you did something good today. Mm -hmm. You... Feel proud about yourself. And the second one is you make somebody feel like they're appreciated. Mm. Or actually you make them feel appreciated. Mm -hmm. So that's how you know if you did something good today. So obviously those were the ones, you know, those were the uh, the actions that you did today that made you feel yeah, good about yourself. So yeah. congrats on that. Thank you very much. Yeah, you really hit a good point with feeling good about yourself. Like for an example, like I want to do the dishes. Like, I want to help out. Years ago, I did not want to do it. I had all these... I was... Ugh. I just didn't feel good about myself. And I, dry, I like, ugh, complained about it. I didn't have the right. space to want to clean, want to help out. Like, it just wasn't there. Like, I just didn't care. And it's so crazy from, you know, practicing the self-love and practicing getting in, you know, that time to make yourself feel good. You literally, like have the energy and you will actually want to help out like yeah. actually want to help out certain chores in my household would have never no oh man i just see myself back then and nope <laughs> back to my room back to do my other things you know it wasn't about the contributing to the family that right. was in my own shit but um yeah, that's a good sign when you actually feel good and you want to help and you're doing it like that's a sign that you actually feel good about your day and you feel like you 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 accomplish what you need to do for your day exactly so you have this extra time 
and like you see these opportunities of how you can help out because you took care of yourself already. Exactly. Yeah. And, and like I mentioned, it's very, very important and it's vital to be able to share it, to be able to uh, express it. Because if you don't have anybody who can make you feel that way, you can do it yourself. And the way you can do it by yourself or for yourself is by writing it down, expressing your appreciation of yourself mm -hmm. in, a, in your journal. You know, we've advocated many, many times how important having a journal to be able to express yourself. Another way is to express it by video autoing it, telling yourself that you did that, you did this today, that the effort that you actually put in, the energy that you put out there actually did some good out there and you did some good for yourself. You see, so you know like really know and you hear your voice telling you that you actually did some good today mm -hmm. because if you don't you're going to be like many of our souls many souls that have that walk around and just flow float around not knowing if they matter mm -hmm. you see so it's like a, i've mentioned many times before we need to be our biggest cheerleaders because if we don't nobody else it, it's highly unlikely somebody will become that cheerleader for yeah. us. Yeah, and then you're just waiting on someone to recognize you. Waiting, exactly. waiting, and you get disappointed. You're just expecting. Exactly. Versus exactly. becoming your own cheerleader. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And so, I'll share, uh, what is it? Your turn. Yeah, yeah. So, that, that's, that's the point of uh, being able to uh, celebrate yourself, you know, <laughs> And letting yourself know that you're appreciated. I'll give you a few things that I did that were good today. First one was, uh, um, if we're lucky enough, we still have our parents around. Um, a lot of us don't really have that connection with our parents. And uh, I'm very, very fortunate that I do. Mm. And it's a choice. And it's a practice that I've cultivated over many, many years. Um, but one thing that a parent could really really um, appreciate is if you actually speak to them and you let them know because I, I let my mom know I was like you know what mom you're a good mom <laughs> you're a really good mom you know and she kind of just paused didn't know what to say <laughs> what yeah you know, but acknowledgement yeah from my son <laughs> but let her know that she's a good mom and she goes Oh, that's what she did. She she let out a deep sigh. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh, oh she goes. And I could see that she really, really appreciated it. And then I followed it up with comedy, which I normally do. <laughs> you always do. Which I normally do. Which is, <laughs> I go, yeah, until you open your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> did she laugh? Yeah, she yeah, laughed. She, yeah. laughed. She, she just goes, just don't get me mad. <laughs> so, don't make me mad. Yeah, exactly. So. We had a good laugh and a good moment, you know, that I created because I had that feeling and I wanted to express it to my mother because, you know, mm -hmm. in these times you really don't know. You really don't know. And a lot of people, yes. they say it, they don't, I know they don't mean it because there are other things in their lives that are pri the priorities. Second thing that I did today that uh, was good, and if you're watching this, um, what are the good things that you did today was I actually... Um, I'm big on family. Mm -hmm. I actually, it's my brother's birthday today, Aww. and we went on a you know about a two mile walk. Nice. Went to uh, a coffee shop mm. and got some coffee, two iced americanos, and we treated him. You know, it's not much, but just a simple fact of the gesture. And then we just walked around, literally walked through downtown Sacramento. It was probably a couple miles. Walked by the Capitol. Um, discussed some things, some topics. Ended up chatting on uh, the porch of his house that he stays at, mm. right there in downtown, literally like two blocks away from the Capitol. And it felt good. It felt good to connect because we all need that. Yeah. So that was another good thing. I felt great about it. That was awesome. You know? Another thing was uh, invested time with a, a buddy of mine who's basically a brother. 
Yeah. Yes. You know, because you have the ones that you, you have the family that you were born with, and then you have the family that you kind of adopt uh, in or something. Not adopt, but they become your become, family. Yes. Because of the practice, because of the energy, because of the actions that they take to show that you are that type of a uh, person that you are family yeah. and being able to uh, invest time in that relationship by one of the best ways to do it is to actually sweat together <laughs> and so we Work go out. cycling and working out and that was something good that we yeah. did today and seeing his kids and seeing how uh, they interact with me you know I know he make I know he feels great about it because one of the things that we do is there's this indoor cycling um, app that's really, really popular and it's called Zwift. So we're on this indoor trainer and, you know, I go there 10 times in a week, nine times out of 10, they'll go grab ice water. And what happens is they love to pour the ice and ice water on me. Oh my God. <laughs> and I'm sweating like that. Yes, a, you are. Sweating, sweating, sweating. But they just wow. love to be able to just douse me <laughs> in cold water, mm, and they just good, they huh? just scream and they just <laughs> laugh and and that's heartwarming. Yeah. It's meaningful, mm -hmm. you know. And that's something good that I know I did today was to be able to bring that type of joy to somebody else's life besides myself and to somebody who I call a brother. Um, Another good thing was actually practice my fitness, you know, took care of my body, you know, which is the priority, took care of it in a way to make the heart stronger or making it to maintain yeah. because there is a, a saying I have in my head that if you don't maintain your physical fitness today, you're literally going to die. You're dying. We're all literally going on the worst side. We're not going to be able to maintain it. So yeah. if we don't continue to practice, continue to maintain this this place that we live in, this body, you know, that we've been given, it's just literally going to decay. And I feel good. I was able to fend off, you know, uh, and keep it the way it is for another day, for another day. Yeah. Because it's... we. It just seems like we take this space that we're that we occupy for so long in our lives and it's just great to know in my head that I'm taking care of this vessel while I'm in it. So that's the, the fourth thing. And then the last thing, last thing is a uh, it's very simple and it's a small gesture. Uh, I tipped a barista. Nice. Yeah. Oh yes, the coffee shop. Exactly, exactly. Tipped the barista, you know, wasn't a lot, it was just a buck. But hey, you know. Every time I go somewhere, I'm always tipping a dollar, two dollars. And even though it's not necessary, I like to say, you don't tip for the other person. You tip for yourself. Mm. That tip is for you to let yourself know that that's how abundant your your kindness is. That's how abundant your good vibes are. That's mm. how abundant your love is. That you still, you have enough to be able to share it with somebody else. You know, whether it's by asking a question, you know, with energy, by taking time to be able to ask them a question, you know, it's just, or to be able to tip monetarily and be on your way, it just goes to show by actions that you are a good person, that you are a kind, that you do have yeah. kindness. So those were the, the five things that I did today that I know were good. You know, we can all, I, I like to say, we don't need to make waves in, the, in this life. We can just keep throwing pebbles and making little ripples. And eventually, those ripples, hopefully, with enough practice, can turn into a wave. Yeah. You know, by finding other rocks, other pebbles, like you, to be able to be thrown and to grow into a wave. Because what is it all for? What is it all for? So, with that said, with that said, um, if you do end up watching this and you do end up seeing this sooner or later... Just know, please, please. It's tough out here, I know. It's really, really tough out here. But if you continue to do good things daily and you're able to recognize yourself for it, like I mentioned earlier in the live, 
please celebrate yourself. Please express it. Please vocalize it in a journal by letting yourself know that you're appreciated, that you are good. Because mm-hmm. it's highly unlikely other people will. Because the reason is people don't feel good. And people focus too much on themselves. And that's okay. Not in a good way, but in a bad way. So thank you, thank you for the quick, quick win, for the women, women, for always chiming in. Always, always love from us to you. Please, please, please. Keep spreading your love. Keep spreading your, your smiles. Keep generating those good vibes that you have. And uh, wherever you go, hopefully, hopefully you leave smiles and not tears. And stay magical.